CAAPM Clustered Environment Support Agent Load Balancing In a clustered environment, an enterprise manager serves as a manager of managers, or mom, managing the other enterprise managers in the cluster. The managed enterprise managers are called collectors. The mom distributes the metric count among the collectors by disconnecting participating agents from overburdened collectors. The disconnected agents reconnect to the mom, and then they are redirected to underburdened collectors. The steps to install Enterprise Manager Mom in a cluster environment are Step 1, Install Manager of Managers, Step 2, Install Collector, Step 3, Configure Mom, and Collectors respectively. Let's start the installation process. Double-click the CA Interscope Installer file to install APM Enterprise Manager. The introduction screen of CA Interscope Installer is displayed. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Next, select Complete Installation for a new production environment. Specify the location of the installation directory for CA APM Enterprise Mom. Specify whether to configure. JVM settings for Interscope components during the installation. If we select Yes, then we have to specify the JVM settings for each Interscope components that we wish to install. Let's select the option No. This allows us to configure JVM settings manually. Specify the location of the external components package for the respective version. This installs and runs the Enterprise Manager and Web View. Accept the terms of the End User License Agreement, and then click Next to continue. Specify the Enterprise Manager Connection Port and Web Server Port. Here 5001 acts as an Enterprise Manager Connection Port, and 8081 acts as an Enterprise Manager Web Server Port. Select Yes to provide the admin and guest password for the Interscope where the passwords are encrypted in the user's XML file. Specify the admin password to log in to APM. Specify the guest login details for APM. Select Yes to implement CA APM in a clustered environment. Select Manager to make the current Enterprise Manager as Manager of Managers. Specify the hostname and collector port of the collector machine. Let's provide the hostname as collector, and set the collector port to 5003. This allows the manager to communicate with the collector. Select No to continue with the installation. Note that we can add more collectors by selecting the option Yes. Let's specify the number of days that we wish to store the transaction trace data. Enter 14. Specify the directory to store the trace data. This allows CA Interscope to store the transactions and the length of time to keep the data. Next, we need to specify a directory for smart store and thread dumps. By default, the directory name is data and the thread dump directory name is thread dumps. A message window is displayed to confirm the Enterprise Manager data storage settings. Click Continue. Select the monitoring options that we want to enable. In this case, we select CAAPM Integration for Application Delivery Analysis and CAAPM for Web Servers. This provides an end-to-end -end application response time monitoring. Select the SOA monitoring options that we want to monitor. This monitors and manages the complex SOO environment. By default, CAAPM for SOA is enabled. Click Yes to start the Enterprise Manager MOM as a Windows service. Provide the unique service name for Windows Registry and unique display name for Windows Control Panel for referring this Enterprise Manager as a MOM. Review the pre-installation summary. The Choose APM Database page is displayed. Here, we choose to deploy the APM database on PostgreSQL. Select Install Database. To install the APM database, you must be a local administrator. Specify the installation directory for the APM database. Specify the APM database administration settings. Specify the database name, database user and password for the APM database. 
review the database configuration summary. In the WebView settings window, accept the default HTTP port and WebView Enterprise Manager host and port. Here 8080 acts as a WebView port and 5001 acts as an Enterprise Manager listener port. Select Yes to configure the Enterprise Manager WebView as a Windows service. Review the WebView pre-installation summary, and then click Install to continue with the installation. Click Done to finish the installation. Log into the APM console to verify if the Enterprise Manager and its components are installed successfully. You have now learned how to install an Enterprise Manager MOM of CA APM 10.0 in a clustered environment.